know. Never said you were, Sarah. Do you think I am some disorder? Sarah, I don't think that. Sarah. Sarah. I think there's something wrong with me. I can't confirm. I just can't be this buoyant and cheerful person you want me to be. I just want you to be happy. Is that too hard to ask? Look, you're out here with me, okay? When I asked you to marry me, it's because I wanted to be with you. I'm here to change for you. Sarah? Reality is about grief and loss. Status, to me, makes sense. John, we learn so late about life and then it's gone. Then I look back and I, I have to ask myself, was it a waste of time? Was it all just a big waste of time? Years of our life gone for nothing? Shouldn't think like that. This is my fault. I did this. It's nobody's fault, John. People change. <sighs> come on, come here with me. Look out here. Look how beautiful it is out here. You just let yourself die inside, you lose your imagination, all you're gonna see is an empty field. I know. I know you're right. But it's not that easy. Hey. It's okay. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Why don't you come out here and look at the stars with me? Come on. It's pretty here. Yeah, I know. That's why I took you here. Thank you, John. For what? For trying to make me happy. You're not happy? I, I am. I'm sorry, I, I just don't see this working out. Are you serious? After we come out here and we try to patch things together, this is what you're gonna do? I, I'm sorry, I just, I just don't see us together. I just need to be alone. 
You want to be alone? Fine. Then be alone. Sarah. 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 Sarah, where are you? Sarah! Sarah! Sarah, where are you? Sarah! 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 everyone in Sunset County to our Bigfoot Hunters Town Hall meeting. We are so excited to have you guys here to share your stories about Sasquatch. And we will be revealing recently discovered Bigfoot DNA found right here in Sunset County. We are pumped and super excited. Sunset County could be the place to make Sasquatch history. As Bigfoot researchers and experts, we want you to tell us your stories about any encounters you may have had. We're willing to answer any questions you guys may have about Bigfoot. Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you have anything for us? I'm Mrs. Arnold, and I've lived in Sunset County for 24 years now. And I have heard some howling on my 30-acre farm, but I've never seen Bigfoot or I've mass watch. But I do have a question, and you may have heard this a lot. If you truly believe that this creature exists, and with modern technology, why can't you produce some clear photos or pictures? I mean, Nowadays, everybody has a cell phone and the capability to snap high quality photos. Great question. First off, how often do you hear the howling? I've heard the howling on and off for a few years now. I've always chalked it up to be a, a fox or a coyote. Yeah, fox and coyotes can make some pretty intense sounds to the untrained ear, and they could be misidentified. So what you heard could have been a fox, a coyote, or a Sasquatch. We would have to investigate to determine what made the howling at Mrs. Arnold's farm. But to answer your second question, I want you to think about it. When you have an encounter with one of these things, it lasts maybe 10 or 15 seconds at best. Most people, when they have an encounter with one of these, they become afraid and their initial reaction is to get away. Instead of taking out their camera and snapping a picture. That 
and a Sasquatch can cover four to five feet in just one stride. So in a small amount of time, they can cover a lot of ground. What about everybody out there who's searching? What about yourselves? If you truly believe this, how come you don't have any pictures? Well, actually most of our research is done at night. That makes it really difficult to get a good clean image and sightings are super rare. I mean, most nights we don't even get a single shred of evidence. Are they dangerous? Sir, <laughs> any animal can be dangerous if you provoke it. And honestly, Sasquatch are way more afraid of humans than we are of them. Bubba's correct. Sasquatch is the gentle giant in the woods. There are no known reports of any deaths due to a Sasquatch encounter. Well, is Sasquatch, is that the missing link between man and ape? No, a Sasquatch is the close relative to the Gigantopithecus. Gigantopithecus was an ape that existed during the Ice Age. If Bigfoot truly does exist, it would be a close relative of Gigantopithecus. You guys are asking some great questions. Anyone have an encounter they'd like to share? How about you, sir? Have an encounter you'd like to share? I had an encounter. All right, would you like to share? They took my wife. Huh? Listen, she went missing three years ago. I don't have any evidence, but I have data showing that people are going missing in the woods. It's right here, all mapped out. People going missing under the same conditions as my wife. Sasquatch don't take humans, sir. I know how to find them, okay? What you guys are doing, your research, it's all bullshit. You just don't go in the woods hollering and screaming in the fucking wood knocks. You have no clue what you're doing. Look here, man. You're just trying to freak people out or make fun of us. My research has brought more proof than anybody else's could have in a lifetime. Then why haven't you produced a body? Sasquatch are super rare species, sir. We don't believe in killing them. Sasquatch don't harm humans. You guys are fake. You don't know what you're doing. You want to prove that it's real? You need to provide a body. Quit the bullshit. Put the cameras down. Get a gun and hunt this thing. Cut, cut. Just quit filming this guy. He's screwing with our show. Cut, guys. Turn off the cameras. What the hell, Erica? Do you screen these people before letting them in? We did. I just didn't have anything about this on the program. Well, then get him out of here and tell crowd control to do a better job before letting these crazies in. I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. They're out there. They took Sarah. Sir, you need to calm down. You should be ashamed of yourself. Coming on my show and making a fool of yourself? Get the hell out of here. I'll show you. I'll be bringing the body. I'm so sorry for the delay, folks. Thank you for you and your patience, but you just can't be too careful with them crazies out there. Hey, I'm Hank, the PI. I thought that was you. You look like a private investigator with that trench coat on. <laughs> yeah, thanks, I guess so. Uh, only thing I'm missing is the fedora, right? Or one of those Sherlock hats. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, Deerstalker hat. That's uh, what they call that, a Deerstalker. <laughs> yeah, one of those. Well, I don't know, that might be a little too cliche for me, man. So, uh, that photo's on my husband? Indeed it is. Well, spill the beans. What's he up to? Is he cheating on me? Uh, well, I can agree that 
emails your husband sent at a babysitter might be considered a little risque. I knew it. I just knew it. That son of a bitch cheated on me. But, 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 before I can know for sure, I'm gonna have to go through all of this material very thoroughly. And I was also thinking about uh, maybe setting up a little something we like to call in a business a uh, casual stakeout. Whoa, I knew you were the real deal. I could tell when you walked in. So how does this work? Tell me everything. Well, I'm gonna be upfront with you. This is going to be a very expensive operation and I'm not gonna be held responsible for any emotional distress that this may or may not cause you or your family. And there's also a very good possibility that I'm not gonna find anything on your husband. But any work I do on his case is non-negotiable and non-refundable. You understand? Sir, I've been married to this man for five years. I've been dealing with this shit far too long. I can't even tell you how many times I've saved his ass. And this is how he repays me? Flirting with our babysitter? Well, if that's how you really feel, all I need you to do, go over to his documents, sign right at the bottom there, and I will be all over this case. Hey, do I know you? Oh, shit. Nah, man, I don't think so. Uh, hey, Tina, sign right there, all right? Yeah, you're that racist cop from that video and you got kicked off the police force. No, man, you got me mixed up with somebody else. What's he talking about? Look, I'll show you. Shame on you. Hey, give me a break, okay? That was years ago. And if you don't know the details of that case, that video makes things look way worse than they actually were. That guy was a bad guy. But the video is of you. And what I did to that guy in that video is nothing compared to what he actually deserved. Listen, you do this job for a certain number of years and it takes a mental toll. And what I did, no police officer should ever do. But I don't regret doing it. Whatever business you have with this guy, don't do it. He's a hot mess. How do you like your name? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Look up. I don't believe everything I see. What? You seem like a good guy. You just let a bad situation get the best of you. Thanks, Tina. Hey, Tina. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't believe everything you see. And uh, I really doubt your husband's having an affair. That email is a stretch. And I feel like maybe I overstated things, misled you a little to try and get your business. Just go home and talk to your husband. I think this thing's gonna resolve itself. And uh, I'm sorry.
Hey, John. What do you want? Honestly, I'm here for mom. She tries to call, but you never answer. Yeah? Well, I've been busy. Busy doing what? You don't work, John. Research. She's gone, John. There's nothing you can do about it. What'd you do with the other half of the picture? It's being haunted by the memories. So I took the scissors and I cut the paper man out. I burned him in the back. You're drunk. I'm fine. No, you're not. This? This is your research? When are you going to give all this up, John? You're going to drink yourself to death, you know. I'm on to something. I try to contact those Bigfoot cable people to tell them my story. They wouldn't listen. Nobody listens. But I'll show them. I'll show everyone. I will be straight with you, John. Mom's too heartbroken to come out here and tell you herself. But the money you got from Sarah's life insurance policy, money you spent on Bigfoot books and booze, which is real smart, by the way. Fucking life insurance policy. Still leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. How can you say someone's dead when they just... Disappeared. No evidence. No body. No proof. Just gone. And no closure. It was a suicide, John. They declared it a suicide. She wanted to go missing. You have to just accept that and let it go. That's your closure. Yeah, okay. How about you just leave and let me be? Mom said that since you won't go get help and you won't see a doctor, when the money's gone and there's no one to take care of you, we're going to have you check into a mental health hospital. Mom said that? Mom already started the petition with the court. I'm going down there to sign it today. I just need proof. Proof of the petition? No. That there's something in the woods. You've lost me, John. I have to go. I was going to make changes. Things were going to be different between us. She's dead, John. You should have never talked to that author. He filled your head with all this crap you wanted to hear. Maybe. Yeah, all right, John. I love you. Mom says she loves you, too. You should give her a call sometime and try cleaning this place up.
a surprise to see you, John. Oh, yeah? I have something for you. And what is that? Your theories? The conspiracy? It's all true. Okay. I'm listening. Ever since you contacted me about Sarah, I've been doing my own research. What kind of research? On your theories about Sasquatch. Okay. I think you're right. It's real. And something's taking those missing people in the woods. It's Sasquatch. John. When I contacted you about Sarah's disappearance, I didn't mean for any of this to spiral out of control or for me to upset you. I was hoping that I could help you get some sort of closure when you have been nothing but lied to. My books are a way to get this information out there and let people know what's going on in the woods. People need to know. If people knew Sarah would still be here. John, my books are strictly fact-based. If I say Bigfoot is out there taking people, no one will believe me and I will lose credibility. Evidence supports my theories, but the mainstream will never believe. People like Sarah are only remembered in my books. I can't let it happen like that. I'll prove that they exist. I know how to find them. John, drink your coffee. I must tell you something. What? You come in my house. You reek of alcohol. You look just awful since the last time I've seen you. You think I'm going to get involved in your schemes? Or that the public is going to believe anything you have to say? Listen, I saw one last night, clear as day. Listen, John. For your purpose, they aren't out there. They don't exist. They do, and I'm going to prove it. Listen, John. Going into the woods won't prove anything. I would hate to have to add your story to my books. You can't prove it. I'm not trying to upset you. Neither am I denying what you saw last night. I know they are out there. The rest of the world isn't quite ready. Help me tell the world. People will listen to you. I'll provide the proof. You just have to write about it. You're not doing Sarah any justice with any of this. If you want her to live on, you must tell her story and forgive yourself. Fuck that, Dave. I can't let it go. She was taken from me. I can't help you, John. Fuck. Hang on, John. I want you to talk to someone. Call this woman. She will tell you the truth. Maybe that will help you gain some closure. I wish only the best for you, my friend. I know how hard it is not to have any answers. Thanks, Dave.
the hell? Hey, this is Tim Barron? Uh, this is Hank calling from the private investigator service. I'm just returning your call. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Okay, Tim, I'm going to be honest with you right off the bat. Uh, I don't do missing persons cases. Uh, that's probably why I didn't pursue the case initially. I did look into it, but I mostly search out evidence of adultery and bad behavior in married couples. I just don't do this kind of stuff. In fact, most... Missing person searches are done by volunteer. You're not going to find a lot of PIs who are willing to take this type of case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can meet in person. Um, it's 7 o'clock now. I can meet you in about an hour. There's a coffee shop down the street... Actually, forget the coffee shop. Um, I'll just meet you at your place. What's your address? Okay. Yeah, I'll be there. My name is Hank. Is your dad around? Um, dad, someone's here. Hey, I got it. Hey, Hank. Hey. Hey, come on in. Oh, Mr. Hank. I got a job for you if you're interested. Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Just uh, tell me what you need. Hey, go out to the board gate, all right? Don't look at me like that. Go on. I'll be in there in a minute, all right? All right. Now, as you are already aware, my sister went missing under suspicious circumstances. No, I'm not aware. What do you mean? Didn't you research the case? Yeah, um... Respectfully, sir, I looked over my notes, and I did not detect anything suspicious about this. Um, I think this is a pretty shut case. She disappeared without a single clue. It was sickening. Well, that's not exactly true either. Uh, uh, if I recall, there was a shoe of hers that was found. Yeah, you want my opinion on that. That shoe was left there on purpose by whoever took her. I mean, reports said she was suffering from depression and... She was potentially suicidal, and her disappearance was chalked up to a suicidal act. I know. 
I know. I almost believed it myself. Well then, what am I doing here? When she disappeared, her husband, John Brandon, started acting really suspicious. Now, honestly, I didn't like the guy. All right, I'm not even gonna lie. But I never thought of him as a killer either until he started blaming Sarah's death on... You're not gonna believe this. He started blaming Sarah's death on Bigfoot. On Bigfoot? Yeah, Bigfoot. You know, like big, hairy hands, Bigfoot. You believe that? <laughs> no. Uh, maybe, maybe this John guy is suffering from some sort of PTSD. Well, here's the kicker. From what Sarah told me before she disappeared, her and John weren't getting along. Yeah, her depression was causing a strain on the relationship. That doesn't mean that he killed her, especially not without leaving a single shred of evidence. I mean, I know local law enforcement officials here, and I know the investigative teams, and... These guys are good at their jobs. I've worked with them before, and I, I, I'd vouch for any work they found. Uh, well, then why was the FBI involved on a missing person case? <laughs> the, the FBI was involved. Yeah, they came here. Stood on my front porch, asked me a bunch of questions about John. I'm, I'll admit that's really odd. FBI doesn't usually handle cases like this. They just... Leave them up to local law enforcement. Right. So, going back to before, Sarah and John go up on this hiking trip to try to mend their relationship. John was caught by Sarah talking to another girl. Apparently, Sarah was under the impression that John was going to leave her for this other girl. All right, but I, I don't really see where this is going. Um, what do you guys want from me? Well, I want answers. My family deserves answers for her disappearance, and John knows something, or he's hiding something. I know he is. Okay, but like I said, uh, what do you want me to do? Jesus, Hank. I want you to follow John. Uh, uh, Mr. Perrin, I don't think this is going to solve anything. This is a really dead case. Look, I said I would pay you double, right? Yeah, and I wouldn't feel right about taking your money. Yeah, which is why I know you were honest and will follow through. Please, Hank, for my family's peace of mind. Well, what do you think this John guy is hiding anyway? He came by here earlier today. He came by here, wanted me to go into the woods with him over there off the bypass. Said he wanted to prove to me that he saw what took Sarah, this Bigfoot. Then he hands me these. It's nothing. It's like a bunch of photos of oak trees. I thought the guy was drunk, honestly. I told him to go home. Well, then it dawns on me. What if John is trying to show us where Sarah's body is? All right? What if that's what these photos are all about? Uh -huh. I mean, drunk, yeah, probably, but... I highly doubt he's trying to give you any kind of message. Well, look, I'm paying you good money, all right? Just follow him for a week. If you find nothing, Hank, I'll leave it alone. One week, double my rate. One week, double your rate. <laughs> what if I don't find anything, which is the most likely way things will play out? Look. If you find nothing, Hank, that's still more than what we have now. All right, my sister went missing. I want to know what happened to her. All right. All right, you'll do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Thank you, Hank. Really appreciate this. You said you seen it out here? Did you bring a gun? I always bring a gun. Two rules I always follow. You never go into the woods alone and always bring a gun.
Kai. I have to ask you, how do you know Dave Palmer? He told me about you, not exactly what I expected. <laughs> I should ask you how you know Dave Palmer. He, uh, he wrote about my wife and one of the missing people books. Yeah, I know, I do research for Dave. He told me about these things, about the missing people, the evidence, the proof. Yeah, I know. I know the truth. I know things a lot of people don't know. What is that? What is it? They cross their trees to mark their territories. How high do you think that is? I don't know, maybe six feet. This is a small one. So I was asking you earlier about the missing people, the stuff that Dave Palmer wouldn't tell me. Do you ever think why? Of course. I try to come up with a logical reasoning every single day. Why would they take Sarah? Look, everybody wants to believe that Sasquatch is this magical creature, but it's not. And the government knows. Knows what? They're people. They're human. They're not human. They're monsters. They're apex predators, top of the food chain. What are you trying to say? Think about it, John. They're eating people? Kai, don't fuck with me, man. What do I gotta do? Come on, man. It's not gonna happen. You really wanna kill something that's human? It's not human. You've never looked one in the eyes. I need a body. A body would prove that this thing exists. Wouldn't matter. The government would cover it up anyway. It does matter! It matters to me! It matters to Sarah! It matters to all those missing people! And you're gonna kill it? Damn right! When? Today! Today? I'm gonna drop you off, I'm getting my things, and I'm coming back here today. All right, ma'am, well, I'll go with you. Why? Because I know where to find him, and if you kill it, I hope you bring it out. Fine. Let's do this, then. All right, so you need to go down this trail here. Mm -hmm. Follow it all the way down. Right. You're gonna see a fallen over tree. When you get to the tree, hang a left. Your tree stand's gonna be right up on the left. All right. Now I'm gonna go down here, this path here, mm -hmm. to the right. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna try to drive this thing to you. We're gonna try to single one of them out. Okay. Do not shoot me. I won't shoot you. Make sure you got a clear shot. We got one chance to get this thing. You got one shot, all right? You, you can't injure this thing. If you injure this thing, it's gonna kill us both out here. Now, once I hear your shot, I'll come find you. Do not get out of this stand until I come to you. It's gonna take both of us to get this thing out of here. Okay. Be careful out there. Let's do this.
来，看 ，Is that you？ 快，是你？快，别胡乱搞我！ Sarah, I'm here for blood. I'm here for Sarah. They took Sarah. They took Sarah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, you son of a bitch! I'm not sorry for this. You guys deserve this. Three years ago, you took something from me. Now I'm gonna take something from you.
Let me leave. They don't want me to leave. I gotta get my gun. Motherfucker, come out here! Come on!
Oh, fuck! Fuck! No! You win! You guys win! I tried. I tried. Oh, fuck. Ah! Yeah!
You shot me! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, my God, man. Are you all right? What the fuck are I you didn't doing? didn't hit you. Why did you shoot me? Come here. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing out here? <laughs> you shot me. I'm going to ask the questions. Oh, my God. Here, put pressure here. Look at what you fucking did. <sighs> you bastard. It's good, man. It went right through. <laughs> I'm pretty far from good, buddy. As a matter of fact, I'm starting to have a pretty bad day. Uh, you got anything to drink? Yeah, man, here. Come here. Here. Uh, Take this. This will help. It's water! Water down whiskey. It's all I got. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, let's go. Go where? To the hospital. You're gonna take me there. Hey, look here, buddy. That way's north. That'll lead you right out of the bush. All you gotta do is head that way. Come what? on, let's go. No, you shot me. You're coming with me. Look, man, I'm sorry. This was an accident. I didn't mean to shoot you, all right? I'm on edge. I freaked out. I thought you were a fucking bear. I didn't mean to shoot you. No, you gotta no, go on your own. No, Come accident on. or not, you shot me, and we gotta go. Uh, sorry, man, I can't. This is your last chance. Just take me back to town, John. How do you know my name? Uh, I'm a private investigator. I was hired to make sure you're okay. <laughs> Tim Berenson, you? Are you with the fucking government? No, I'm not. I need you to focus. Somebody who cares about you a lot just hired me to make sure that you were okay. Ah, ah, that's it. Now, if I lose any more blood, I'm not going to be able to make it anywhere on my own. You really want to be responsible for my death. Fuck. Come on. Let's ah, go. ah, 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 What are you doing out here, John? Hey, John, you listening? You hear me? Wasn't there a woman out here with you, John? What happened to her? You know, John, you're right. You don't have to listen to me, but you're going to have to explain to the authorities what happened, and they're going to want to know what happened to your friend and my arm here. Listen, what's your name again? Hank. Okay, Hank. I got something to tell you. I'm gonna take you to your car, and then me and you, we're done, all right? <laughs> like, yeah, we are. <laughs> what? Oh. What, what is it? What? What is this? I'm gonna make you famous. John. What did you do? That right there, that's evidence. Proof. Proof of what? Bigfoot, Sasquatch, whatever you want to call it. That's what that is. Jesus, fuck, John. No, no, John, shut up. Put your guns down. Hey, whoa, hey. Look, calm down, man, all right? Put them on the ground. What's in that bag is a creature, okay? Let me show you, I'm gonna show you. Chill out. John. John, who is that? Is that Sarah, John? Is that Sarah? I don't know. They tricked me. They fucking tricked me. No, nobody's tricking you, John. John, this is all in your head. It's Sarah. All right, stay put, don't move. All right, stay put. All right. 
Get off that bed. Okay. Oh. All right. Go ahead. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Just shoot me. Just fucking shoot me. No, I'm not gonna do that, John. Ah, oh, fuck. Put your hands behind your back. I'm here to help you, John. Don't make things any worse. All right. Still move. Oh, fuck. Get your hands together. All right. All right, you're doing good, John. You just stay calm. Ah, ah, ah. All right. Stand up. Aren't you gonna leave me my rights? Oh, fuck no, I'm not a cop. Go ahead, stand up. All right, go and get out of here. You can tell your story to whoever you want. All right, move. Come on, move. Keep walking. All right, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, shit, I forgot your guns. That's missing evidence. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go mark this tree, and then hopefully, I'm gonna come back later and be able to retrieve them. All right, stay put. I'm not crazy, I know I'm not crazy. here as long as I need. I'll show you. I'll show you the monster. John, it's all in your head. You can't run away from your past, John. Oh. It's not over. I'm not done yet. It's 
surgery. Ha, ha, ha. 
I hit one wrong note. <laughs> I hit one wrong note.